to reduce the friction of eating healthy and just getting my daily macros met. Now I need to actually write these down and calculate them. So I haven't done that yet, but what I did was I subscribed to overnight oats, so breakfast. So this one is cookie butter and they're all a little bit different, but they're around 270 or 300 calories. So you look at the back of this one. It's got seven grams of fat. It's got 230 milligrams of sodium, 43 grams of carbs. Carbs is a little much. Fiber, seven grams, protein, 20 grams. So I've been using this with oat milk. Uh, I might use almond milk also. I can't do dairy milk anymore. When you get older, if you know, you know. I've also been adding Benefiber to this sometimes, um, or I just add it to like whatever drink that I'm drinking. Not water, but like something juice related or um, something like that. Like I've been using the squeeze juice things. Don't come at me. I mean, I know some of this stuff is not 100% healthy, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do as foods. The other thing that I did was I subscribed to a smoothie company called Revive, and they're sending me these little buckets. And what you do is you put in your liquid in here and then you dump this into a blender, blend it all up and then put it back in here. They give you a straw, they give you like a, what's it called? Stainless steel straw or what I loved. I was totally shocked that I loved the pumpkin. Some of the liquids that you put in here are like almond milk. Uh, there was one I put in coconut water. Wasn't too much of a fan of that one, but uh, these are great, they go in the freezer. I also bought myself a nut milk maker. Uh, so I got this one and so I've been making my own nut milk rather than having to buy it at the, at the store. So it gives them little recipes. It's got oat milk in here and almond milk and it's pretty easy. You know, I used to make my own almond milk years and years and years ago. Um, this thing definitely cuts down on the time. I've also been using this for my smoothie. So I just put this in here and it has a self-cleaning mode. Um, so it's a great little machine. I love that. And then I've replaced my sugar with Truvia. Uh, so sugar in my coffee. And then sometimes these need a little, like this one didn't need it, the pumpkin didn't need it, but some of these need a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sweetener. So I'm putting this in there. Um, I also have a honey too. So I've been using honey. I need to get some real maple syrup. I think that would be another great sweetener. Um, but that's, that's what I've been doing. And, you know, I think it's been working for me. So like I said, oats for breakfast, a couple hard boiled eggs, which gives me more protein. This for lunch, um, I need to put those on my spreadsheet and, and see what they're adding up to and come up with a plan from there. But I've been just eating normal dinner with my husband, so it's something, you know, protein, veggie, starch, carb, or whatever. Um, and that seems to be working for me. I've been feeling, you know, good. Um, adding the fiber has been having me a little bit bloated, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so that's going to take some getting used to, but it's a lifestyle change. 